Hey, what's going on, my gilded brethren? I'm bringing you this tutorial today from uh, Photoshop CS5, the extended version. And here we have some 3D text, which appears to be floating on a cloud above this church somewhere in France. And that's a French stop sign right there. That's how I know. But yeah, this this is the effect I'm bringing today. Um, basically, making text appear to be within a photo instead of just just paste it on top of it. And, it and really it does look lifelike to me it looks like it could be floating there if my graphics were a little bit better you know I got the shadow projected on the steeple you know this right here just little bits of realism within this picture with that I'll be showing you today and all you need is a photo similar to this one Not it doesn't have to be a church you just have to have you know something blocking blocking the view something you can hide text behind all right now let's get started i'm gonna start by opening up this same photo where's this photo at here it is alrighty now what i want you to do before you do anything open the layers panel and i want you to come over here and grab the magic the the um quick selection tool and whatever wh another thing whatever you whatever uh, photo you pick make sure that it's a high co contrast photo between the foreground and the background so look check this out see it didn't select any of this this blue the the, the clouds over here so you won't have to worry about difficult you know just resizing the, the size of the, uh, the, uh, the pointer the magic selection tool and you can resize it by going up here be as big as you want it to be but I'm going to take mine back down to 25 ready and finish this up and what you're going to do you're going to just outline whatever's blocking the way that you're going to hide the text behind and once you've done that I want you to hit control J hitting control J creates a duplicate Let's see let me show you you see, isolated the towers. It creates a duplicate onto a new layer. And I want you to click the background and grab the type tool. And your um, choose whatever font you like. I'm going to type in uh, Gilded at Five. All right. I'm going to hit Control Alt T, and this is going to allow me to. Okay, hold on. Control Alt T. All right, I'm gonna click the arrow. Then I'm gonna click Control Alt T. It's gonna allow me to transform it and enlarge it, rather. Change the font size without messing with the number up there. I could just make it how uh, I see fit. Alrighty, and we will be creating 3d text I had to, um, every time I transform using control T it creates a duplicate and leaves the original so I had to delete that uh, copy of the text alrighty now you see you see what I was telling you watch this had that it appears alrighty now text is hidden this is the effect but I'm going to go into further detail show you how I accomplished the um, the shadow and the, the little cloud effect what I'm going to do is go up to repose and then we're going to repose text layer I don't know what repose means it's probably a French word also but I know it makes my letters 3D it makes the text 3D there we go see that 3D text Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Should I change the colors on here? Yeah, I'm gonna change the colors. Just so it'll pop a little bit more. Um, let's see. Is that a good one? Alright, there we go. I'm gonna change the lights to CAD. CAD optimized. Change the lighting. Alright, 
that's looking okay. I'm about to make the mesh quality best. That's just what I prefer. All right, all right. We have the the 3D the 3D lettering now. Now I'm going to show you how to make the little clouds. To make the clouds, I want you to grab the brush tool. Ready? Grab a solid brush. This for my image. This is the size. Okay. What you do now? You grab. Make sure the brush is white. Woo! Undo that. Got to throw it over. Make sure the layer, the layer that you're making the clouds on, is above the the 3D text layer, but below the copy of the steeples layer. Beep, 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 beep. Looking bad. Alrighty, now we're gonna go to filters. Go to blur and motion blur. See? And see I have mine set at the distance ninety four and angle negative minus eight negative eighty three. And that looks okay right there. I'm just gonna duplicate that. Duplicate that. Give it a little bit more. Mm. I'm gonna take the opacity of this second the duplicate layer down a little bit. Looks like a little nimbus cloud. I'm gonna go I'm gonna merge this down. Get the layers. I don't wanna have too many layers, get confused. Now, now see it's floating on a cloud. It's floating on a cloud. Now now I need to show you how to uh do the shadow. What I want you to do now is right click on the 3D layer, go to rasterize 3D. Alright. Now what you do is duplicate the 3D layer. And on this layer that's under the, the original copy, I want you to go into blending options and go to drop shadow. I want you to add a drop shadow. And then I want you to cre increase the distance from. You see that? You see the shadow is projected. It gets further away. And I want to make it like kind of uniform with the actual direction of the sunlight. And that's about a. That's a. That's an actual 45 degree angle. It appears to be. Uh, is that 45? Mm, I think 53 get it. It's close enough. Alright, hit OK. And now, to make it look like the shadow is being projected on the building, grab the eraser tool. Eraser tool. And, um, just start erasing. Oh, oh, okay, whoops. First off, I want you to go to convert to smart object so you can start erasing. And once you click on it, it'll say something about let's see, let's see what it says. Undo rasterize layer. You see the little the little thing, you can't erase anything right now. Once you left click on it, it will ask you to rasterize. And just click OK. Rasterize it so you can so you can start erasing. Whoops. Don't want to erase anything on the building. Any of the shadow projected on the building we want to keep. Because it adds to the realism. Alright. I'm about to grab another brush. Whoa. I need a square brush. But alright. For the sake of time, I know you all have things to do. You might want to create this uh, effect right this moment. You, you could be. Uh, but let's see. See? After you trim that up as much as possible, it looks like it's projected from the, from the P onto the building. And now, we just touch up this over here. And just 
You just do your little touch ups and everything. And it looks like actual shadow. Oh, now that doesn't look like actual shadow. But you all get the idea, right? The making the 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 text appear to be within the photo and not just on it, pasted somewhere on it, hiding behind the uh, the steeples. Yep, this is the effect. Thank you for watching. You know, comment, subscribe, thumb a video, a like, a like. Let me tell you about likes. They go further than you would know. But hey, y'all have a happy YouTube and day, and thanks a lot for watching. Take care.